Now my skin is like crawling, I swear. Like I feel so gross right now. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Black Squirrel Homestead. I'm Andrea and today we're gonna continue our series on beginning prepping. Today we're gonna talk about bug out bags. For those of you who don't know what a bug out bag is, a bug out bag is basically designed to help you evacuate quickly in the event of an emergency. Things like gas leaks, other natural disasters, and even civil unrest. Sometimes you just need to leave at a moment's notice and you don't have a lot of time. By preparing a bag ahead of time, you'll be ready for these emergencies. So with a bug out bag, you wanna make sure that you're refreshing the contents inside of it every six months to a year. If you've gained a lot of weight or maybe you've lost a lot of weight, the last thing you wanna do is be at a hotel or at a friend's house and you don't have any clothes that fit you. It's also important to make sure that any medications you might be carrying are current. In other words, just make sure that you're refreshing it every six months to a year. I personally store a lot of snacks in my bug out bag, as you should too, and you don't want anything getting moldy or nasty. You don't wanna be eating that in an emergency. It'll just make the situation that much worse. So please just take the time to go through it on a regular basis and you'll probably be just fine. You also wanna make sure that everything works. The last thing you wanna do is get into a hotel, be at a friend's house, be car camping, whatever the situation throws at you. <laughs> um, you wanna make sure that your batteries work, that your flashlights work, headlamps, whatever gear you store in here, you wanna make sure that it's still working. So please, 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 I cannot emphasize this enough, go through your bag on a regular basis. All right, so let's start out by talking about the bag. Um, I have a beat up old Jan Sport. It's, I like it because it doesn't draw a lot of attention to itself. It's just kind of a, you know, nobody's gonna think about this bag. You know, it's just not nothing special about it, but that's what I really like about it. I'm not sponsored by Jan Sport. I mean, really, I've got like a hundred some subscribers. So who's gonna sponsor me? Seriously, that reminds me, if you're watching this video and you want more content like this, please subscribe and go ahead and just smack that like button. Just, just like that, just. Let's just talk about a little bit more about the outside of the bag. I have a beaner clip on here. This is nice if I just need to, I mean, these are just handy in general, but if I wanted to clip something to the outside of my bag last minute on the way out, I'd be able to do so. I've got other clips here, another beaner clip. I also have a ton of hair ties because let's face it, hair ties are really handy. They've got all kinds of survival uses. I've used hair ties for many things that aren't for hair. All right, so I'm gonna open up the bag. And the first thing I have in here is a notebook and pen. Um, you never know when you need to write something down, important information, um, whatever. Notebook and a pen. I've also included some photos of my family in here. On the backs of the photos, I've written phone numbers and things like that in case um, I become separated from my family. They're able to know where to contact me. They know who we are and how to get our family back together. Very, very important. You never know when your um, internet's not gonna be working. Uh, my bag is pretty unorganized, but I have some children's Tylenol some duct tape in case I need to repair something, fix something, you know, your car camping and you, you need to repair your tarp or whatever. Rope, of course. And then I have a lot of these little pouches and I really like these. I actually picked these up at Dollar Tree. So in here, I've got a little bit of cash and that's it in here, just a little bit of cash. I've got a pair of sunglasses in here because I'm always losing sunglasses. So I thought I'd put them in this little case. If I leave the house quickly, I don't have to worry about getting headaches and stuff from being out in the bright light. Paracord bracelet, a whistle in case I get, you know, need to let somebody know where I am or scare something off. Hand sanitizer. I have one of these little water filter, personal water filters for sanitizing water if I need to get some water to drink. A headlamp. Let's make sure it works. Blink or a solid. We're good to go. 
I also have some black trash bags in here. I don't know if I thought maybe an emergency shelter, if I needed to keep my bag dry, I could just throw it over my bag. A Mylar blanket for keeping warm in extreme weather or even reflecting heat for that matter. I have some emergency drinking water tablets. All right, that's pretty much it for in there. I'm gonna put all this back later because It'll be easier if I just do it after the video. All right, so in here, I've got some, oh, see? Wow, surprise! This makes great content, guys. Um, not great for me, but great for you. Uh, I went in here and it looks like a mouse. I sure as heck hope there's not a mouse in my lap right now. But a mouse got into my goodies. So this is exactly why you go through your bug out bag. This is a perfect example right here. Gross. They didn't seem like they got into, now my skin is like crawling, I swear. Like I feel so gross right now. <laughs> I don't think they got into the beef jerky. I'm pretty surprised that they didn't get into the mountain mix that I had stored. Uh, yeah, I got some, let's see. This is just some um, bar soap. It's a shampoo bar. I have, I went through this bag. I, I went through this bag probably like two months ago. So this has not been sitting here that long. Deodorant, uh, a bandana. That's probably going to need to get washed. Uh, let's see, another Mylar survival blanket. I have some duplicates of things because the kids will need them. Uh, toothbrush and toothpaste. Thank God it's in this little bag because yuck, I don't even want to know. Um, I'm like so creeped out right now. <laughs> I have a first aid kit, some antacids, uh, some Kleenex for, you know, extra toilet paper or whatever. Some playing cards just to keep you entertained if you're bored. Uh, this is all of my fire type stuff for starting fires. I got a flashlight, some extra batteries. I got this cool little, um, my friend Nikki, she was getting rid of it, I think. It's an Eddie Bauer, a little clip on thing. You just like clip a light like anywhere you want. It's kind of a nice little light. Some glow sticks for the kids. You know, it'll keep them interested, keep them happy for a while. Okay, i am got some work gloves in case for some reason, you know, you, I don't know. You just never know. Okay, I'm like, I'm about ready to pull the last thing out of my bag and I'm hoping there's not a mouse and, okay, which just fell out. And really, it didn't chew through the bag. It must have unzipped it. That's what's so creepy. Um, this is just a little multi-tool for whatever. And then in here, I've got my clothing, and it's also a dry bag. Uh, I thought, you know, having a nice dry bag, the last thing you want to do is get somewhere. If you had to be walking out in the rain, you finally get under some shelter and putting on wet clothes. So I've chosen to store those in here. As far as I know, everything still fits. I really hope you enjoyed this video, watching me freak out over a mouse chewing through all my food. Um, I have got some work to do, obviously. So some other information that I could have included would be to have some additional identification, maybe some deeds to your houses or properties, cars, insurance, just anything that would be valuable of your home or to be destroyed. Whatever happens, you wanna make sure that you have some kind of physical documentation. Your insurance company is probably gonna have a virtual copy of that. I just feel a little bit better having some of those things on hand. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment below and introduce yourself and let me know, what are you interested? What do you wanna know about prepping? Are you a beginner or are you, um, are you a pioneer of the prepper movement? Are you a veteran? Comment below and let me know. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching, bye-bye. It looks like they got into the, the Nutter Butter, or no, the uh, Babe Ruth. Those, those mice really liked the Babe Ruth. Man, Blech.